then the abnormal vessel pores and align now we see right aortic arch so the first clue for right aortic arch comes from the three vessel view normal three vessel view is the three vessels stacked one upon the other close to each other and here you see there is an increased gap between the aorta and the pa and if you notice the trachea is actually seen already between the aorta and pa and in color also you can see the increased gap so that is the first clue for right aortic arch in three vessel view there is an increased gap between aorta and the pa in the three vt view typically this is a normal left arch you see a v shaped configuration with the apex of the v to the left of the spine in right arch you get a u shaped configuration this means the aorta is on the right side the ductus is on the left side so the u shaped sign is the right arch with the left ductus sometimes you may have a right arch with the right ductus which is different from this picture now when you put color this is a normal left arch a v and on the apex of the v to the left and in right arch you see the u and the trachea is between the two arches now this does not form the vascular ring because here you see this tiny space here <coughs> i or the trachea is not fully encircled it's only partially encircled and this portion there is no complete ring see that this gap is seen so this is the uh, right arch is not a vascular ring but another case see look at this look like a right arch in the beginning you see that u and all that but then when we looked at it we saw this little fellow here and when we looked at it it was a double arch so here this is the trachea this is the aorta there is a right arch there is a left arch so it's a complete ring and this is a ductus so double aortic arch is a complete vascular ring the difference between right arch and double arch is that in right arch there is only one aortic arch which is usually which is a right arch in double arch the aortic arch will divide into a right branch which is usually the dominant arch and a smaller left branch the left branch will be seen anterior to the trachea so the trachea will be encircled between the left and the right branches and this is beautifully shown in this rendering see this this is where 3d is very good you see 3d rendering and you see left arch right arch and the ductus so it's a complete ring this is right arch left arch ductus right arch left arch and the ductus so it's a complete vascular ring uh, forming a airway compression so this is the classical example of double aortic arch so we have seen a few pieces of double aortic arch and these pictures look very similar to the post natal ct pictures and very useful to confirm the diagnosis and counsel the last lesion is arsa and again there was a question about arsa so arsa is diagnosed in the three vessel tracheal view so normally you see the uh, the flow the blue flow and here you see this vessel which is a vessel which is going towards the right and posterior to the trachea the 3d rendering also can be shown very well so the arsa is a last vessel and takes a retrograde course behind the trachea and goes towards the right side so that is the clue retrograde course behind the trachea and moves towards the right side it's a strong marker for a neuploidies particularly trisomy 21 so whenever you do the screening and if you find a marker like echogenic focus it is important to complete this previt and they look for arsa so it's a critical view in fetal heart evaluation in all stages of pregnancy and at all levels of expertise spectrum of outflow anomalies and arch anomalies are diagnosed using a combination of 2d and color many of them are life threatening and correctable problems and prenatal diagnosis of these anomalies will permit planned care and improved newborn outcome so i want to remember these two gentlemen shi jin yu is one among you as a radiologist cardiac radiologist practicing in hospital for sick children in canada he is a radiologist who described the three vessel view and this is shimcha yagal who is a fetal medicine specialist from israel he described the three vessel tracheal view so all the views were there but then it needed somebody like this gentleman to actually describe them and then we build on understanding and you know and improve our diagnosis using this so i think this lecture tells you how to use small clues imaging clues towards diagnosing a whole lot of problems in the fetal stage mm -hmm.